I've been talking to a lot of folks lately and there's a reoccurring theme, uh, theme that keeps popping up for folks. And that is some form of wanting to lose weight, lose body fat, um, progress in that form of a goal. So if that aligns with you and you want to lose weight and you're not where you want to be and you're carrying around extra body fat and it's been that way for a while or maybe you're just encountering uh, a recent body change, I first want to address that nutrition can be a very layered, deep, and sometimes even intimate subject for people. We could be talking about potential childhood trauma or childhood uh, you know, things involving from our childhood, reward systems from our youth, emotional connections, and a million other things tied here. When we really want to make a change to our body, I'm going to drop some, some tips that can be really helpful. And I would be remiss if I didn't first mention that it might be smart for us to do the inner work surrounding our troubles, our hangups, our psychology, our views, our thoughts, and emotions that lead to our behaviors and actions around food. Because without that, we might be looking for an external thing to fix something internal. And it's been my experience that that, this, that just does not work out long term. So that's first. And here are a couple things that you can implement and take away that can begin helping. The first thing is you need to begin eating less and think in terms of a week versus a day. This in terms of working with someone would be known as introducing a calorie deficit. So the first thing is we're gonna eat a little less. Some people can even thrive with time windows like intermittent fasting where you just have an eating window and when you're outside of that you don't eat which essentially helps you take in less calories. The second thing that I would recommend is to begin tracking and prioritizing your protein. The gold standard being one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if I weighed 180, I would take in 180 grams of protein. And we also need to get good at identifying what is a protein, what's a combo protein, and what's not a protein that we actually think is a protein. Example of a protein would be 99% fat-free chicken breast. An example of a combo could be a steak or some fish which have protein but also come with some fat most of the time. And foods that we can think are protein that aren't really protein or they claim they're protein like peanut butter when really it's a two to one fat. So we're getting a lot of calories, a lot of fat and a little protein in there and they're claiming that it's high in protein. We're getting protein, but not what we, we think. And the third that can be really helpful if you're looking to lose unwanted body fat or tone up, lean, up, lean out, is I would say get support and help. Get a coach. And what, what I mean by that is I could sit here and tell you three things, five things, seven things to do. And I mean, shoot, Last year at this time, I shot a seven, eight part video series of how to lose weight, how to lose body fat. And there was a gentleman out there who he was at the time was 350 pounds and he watched these videos and he took that advice, one person. And over the course of the next six, seven months, he lost a hundred pounds. Wow. I mean, that's action. That's commitment. That's following through. That was one person. So the reason that I recommend getting support and accountability is it gives you the jump start initially when I have to enter all those hurdles in the beginning of the decisions around food, what to focus on, not to get lost in um, decision fatigue, things of that nature, and set the habits early, get support, get accountability, and then take off on your own, implement those habits for the majority of your life and thrive. Those are my three recommendations.